Okay, we're back over here with the good old landslide and the footprint where I was working on girdling the tree seems like probably the best spot for the moment to put this one sugar maple. I got the other one waiting for decision here. And they say ideal spacing is 30 feet, but they also say that thin rocky soils <laughs> aren't good for them but that's all i have to offer this poor plant so hopefully it'll work out um to keep the lower profile i am not putting the uh tree protectors on over here if i can find existing trash that will protect it then i'll do that I am thinking the other one might go over there somewhere. Uh, depending on what I can actually access without falling the whole way down the hill. There are maples here. I suspect they might be Norway maples instead of native ones. But, eh, you know, that's alright. Um, there's still trees holding up a cliffside, honestly. And then this one here, this gorgeous tree right here, I really think that's, oh gosh, I'm actually not sure. Look at how beautiful it is. It's all shaggy barked and everything. It's got really tiny leaves. Some of them still clinging. I, I'm thinking that might be a black locust. I don't know, but the bark isn't quite right for that. I know there are a few black locusts down here, but it's hard to tell this time of year. And then this one really looks like an American elm to me. If not, then it might be some sort of Celtus tree. The one up there, see color balance that goes from there straight up that's a Celtus tree Celtus lactivana if I'm saying it right um, the southern type uh, is what's actually common on the hill here so if I've just introduced a Celtus occidentalis that's exciting because it's also native to this range but I haven't seen it occur anywhere in my area just yet because the bark is really different so those are called sugarberry and the other ones are called hackberry occidentalis is hackberry but they really taste the same i don't know why one's so worse named and then this one that i girdled is tree of heaven prolifically seeding and boy do those seeds take that's a really annoying part about this tree, but um, it being yoked, it's probably going to start to excrete a few more of its allelopathic toxins. So the sooner I can get it to the point where it is okay to kill, and you can see the base of this is actually quite underground and starting to get choked by the soil anyway, I think its trunk is at least another three feet down at the base. So it wasn't doing great anyway, which is kind of good, but we want to replace it. So they say the closest you should space them is 14 feet and ideal is 30. So maybe here and over there, or maybe here and down there. We'll see what I can do as far as like what's actually safe but there's not a whole lot of trees in this area right here and it is awfully close to the active actual landslide so oh those are staghorn those aren't locusts one of them is at least a staghorn oh one of them is staghorn one of them is black locust oh that's awesome maybe honey locust hmm yeah, with the big leaves, probably honey locust. And then the next one down from that is staghorn. I'm looking at little twigs. They got a little bit of green right here. So in my pocket is a hand trowel. That's all I got. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, which is good because then I don't need to... Oh, it also says it doesn't do well in clay. And this is basically rock and clay. But I really do not have 
anything else to offer this tree. So I hope, I hope it can accept what I'm able to give it. I'm gonna dig down as well as I can with the only tool I was actually able to bring across the cliffside. And this is just in the dent that my foot made. You're in the dirt. Perfect. So then all that soil that I displaced, if you can even call it soil, And get put back in and then tomorrow it'll rain and the weather's chilly that's a piece of the bark I shaved yesterday and the weather is chilly not gonna leave my plastic here but I also cannot safely retrieve all the trash that is here either so it's uh you know kind of a balance I'm gonna press this in with my foot when I have a lot of watering options, I often don't compact the soil, but I think in this case it's a good idea. And then, oh, let's see. Hmm. There's a lot of trees right there, and there's not a lot of trees right here. There's just this invasive bush honeysuckle. So, we can attempt to head that way. Attempt. My hands are full though, so... Um, ooh, okay, look, I have a tree in my pocket. Well, as it got in its pockets is... Oh, it's a freaking inner tube. I've been thinking I need inner tube rubber for... Um, processes of cushioning things for my bike. So I'm gonna throw that up there and see if I can take it back with me once I don't have two trees with me. I might have a free hand for that. <sighs> oh, there's another one. There's another inner tube, but that one's under big rocks. Alright, so let's see if I can get over there single-handedly. And by that I don't mean like by myself, though I am by myself. I mean like, I'm holding the camera right now. Oh, there's a bicycle tire there too. I bet you all of that, oh my foot's stuck. See this, I can't get through. There we go. Um, I mean I've only got one hand free is what I mean. I'm gonna hold on to this. That's a dead part, let me hold on to a part that's less likely to snap. Formidable Flora pointed out that these rail, these might have been um, handrails for the terracing, the really old terracing up there. So, yeah, I think there's just enough light coming through here that, okay, that this might be a really good place. Okay, my foot's sliding, so maybe we'll make this. Oh, look, that soil's actually half decent. Yeah. Uh. No, it's not the worst, anyway. It's not just straight up thin rock. Like the internet says sugar maples can't survive in. Oh, but there's uh, also a lot of glass down here. And I don't know if that's a root. I don't know what that is. So we're gonna dig either above or, let's do above. We'll dig above it so that there's less erosion possibilities. Move this pipe and this rock a little. Oh yeah, this is, this is actually really good soil right here. How, how, how about that? The question is how deep can I get? 
with this tiny little shovel. There's a rock there and I can't get past it. All right, how deep do you need to be? Tiny bit more. Okay. Let's see. Look at that roots. That's great. I'm going to spread those out a bit. And then shove the soil back in. I give it one rock. Whew. All right, my leg's cramping up. Oy. Whew. Mm. Holding your own on a cliff like this is difficult. Let's take that piece of housing fascia and Uh, stick that in my pocket. It doesn't need to be over here. And just, yeah. So, that one's going to be hard to find. Which is, that's okay. I don't really think I have anything to protect them 